Boys and girls, it is really, really early right now. It's like 6 in the morning, but I had to get this video out as soon as possible. Uh, it is currently the 31st. It's currently Halloween. Happy Halloween. But either way, I'm going to be bringing you guys a roster mania update. I look so strange right now. Either way, I'm bringing you guys... What is this? Episode 3? I think this is episode 3. Roster mania update. A lot of stuff has actually gone down over the past couple of days. I've waited to make a video. I know people aren't happy with me with that. They're like, why don't you make a video every day? It's not easy to make a video every day. And only whenever like one roster change goes down. It's really not that beneficial to someone who's already seen it. So like, I want to be able to provide at least 2, 3, 4, maybe even... You know farther on after that i want to have roster changes to kind of break it up and also not have a video every day because you know i think videos every day not for everyone but they do get kind of stale after a while so i'm just trying to you know space it out a little bit i shouldn't have waited this long but either way we'll bring you guys another video and today like i said we're gonna be talking about roster changes we got optic nation we have elevate some insane stuff has recently gone down that i want to talk about with that particular team and it's only going to be growing as we kind of continue to see what's going on with the World League rules. Uh, you know, can you have more than one team per organization? A lot of interesting stuff, a lot of interesting discussion, which I'm going to need you guys to kind of comment down below about as the video moves on. So obviously this entire series is about pre-Black Ops 3. You know, Black Ops 3 is, I, I believe, right a month or not a month away, a week away. Whoa, it's early. But, uh, you know, it's only a week away. We're not that far away from Black Ops 3. We're finally going to be able to play the game that we've been waiting for for like two years. We've been waiting to play this particular game, waiting for Treyarch to make another title for the longest time. We're only one week away and we're able to see how these rosters kind of play out. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our first team of this episode, this video, whatever you wanna call it. It's episode three, I don't know. Uh, but Optic Nation actually did announce that Ricky, Namos, and Miracles have officially left the team actually i don't think optic gave me tweeted it out but either way ricky and nameless kind of tweeted out you know had a tweet longer i think nameless made a video kind of talking about different stuff so basically what's going on is that it's a massive rumor I talked about this in my last video as well if you guys want to check it out i'll link both of the roster mania videos down in the description if you guys want to check those out at all because i won't be talking about the other stuff uh, but basically what's going on a massive rumor which is not 100 percent confirmed is how other stuff works in other leagues in other esports i said other like five times did you just hear that? So basically what that means is that it is one team per organization. So for instance, Phase Black, that can't exist if you already have a Phase team. Optic Gaming and Optic Nation, one of those can't exist. Obviously it's going to be Optic Nation. So in a way, there is a way to get out of it. I'm not sure on the exact specifics of it, but I'm going to be talking to you guys about how that they could kind of combat that if that is, that ends up being a rule. So how other esports work is basically, there's a team called Evil Geniuses. I know I talked about this in my last video, but just reiterating it uh, for those who might have watched it. So, or for those who didn't watch it, but uh, Evil Geniuses, a major known team. Everyone probably knows them if you watch Ghosts or anything like that, you would, you would know that they were in the Call of Duty scene for a bit. And uh, what they do in other esports, whether it's League of Legends, whatever, you're, whatever have you, uh, or Dota 2, excuse me, but they actually have, they own more than one team, but they have different ownership over those other teams. They're not known as Evil Geniuses, but they're known by a different title, they're owned by different people, but overall, Evil Geniuses owns like four or five different organizations, and if they win, you know, they get benefits from it, but they don't technically have the exact same name. So for instance, if Optic Gaming wanted to have Optic Nation, if FaZe wanted to have FaZe Black, they would have to hand it over to a new owner, someone in FaZe, doesn't matter as long as it's not the original owner, so for instance, Hex couldn't own Optic Nation. At least, this is based on other esports, keep that in mind. So, this is just how it's been in the past. You know, you could say, well, no, it's not gonna happen. It may, might not. I, I don't know. I'm just saying that how it, that's how it works in other games. So, for instance, let's say someone else who owns, you know, stock in Optic Gaming, someone who kind of owns Optic Gaming, someone who Hex could trust in a way, whether it's Nate Shot, whether it's Jay, Hutch, you know, whoever you want to put in charge that's kind of in, in the Optic organization, they would have to brand it under a new name, so it most likely wouldn't be able to be called Optic. It could be called Nation or just Nation something, I don't, whatever you want to call it. OG Nation or, I don't know, that was weird. Technically, Optic would own it, everyone would know that, but the League doesn't really recognize it as that. I know the League could be like, oh, well, no, that you guys technically own both of them. They can't do that because according to rules and other esports, that's how it works. Will it work for the World League? I don't know for sure yet. Uh, Embos talked about this in a video whenever he, you know, was kind of mentioning that Ricky, Nameless, and Miracles have left. Uh, though that team is currently, was actually at the time, looking for one. They announced their fourth, which we will get to. Uh, but that is not a confirmed thing, 100%. But it is looking like that is going to be a major rule heading into the Call of Duty World League this year. Technically next year, because it starts in 2015, or 2016. But, um, you know, that's a major deal. You know, we don't know what's going to happen with, with Sensor's team of, uh, you know, Sensor, Apathy, and Saints. 
Net team still looking for one, but they also are looking for an organization as well. Who are they going to pick up? I have no idea. Or what organization is going to try to pick them up if FaZe Black doesn't really turn out the way that they hope so. Um, so right now, Embos is actually looking for three players over on Optic Nation right now. Uh, people have been tweeting at Study. People have been tweeting at Nade, Big Timer. You know, they've been tweeting at everyone that they want to see on Optic Nation. And it's just, uh, you know, it, Bose is in a very tough situation. You know, having three players from your organization just leave. Based not off of a rumor, but, you know, Call, Call of Duty players want to be guaranteed... You know that they can have a spot in the world league which i don't by any means blame ricky nameless and miracles for the way um for them deciding to leave according to bimbos you know people didn't say that they were leaving and so on and so forth which i'm not going to get into because i don't know the full story but you can't really blame someone for not having a secured spot in the world league like if that does in some way get involved no offense but they're kind of screwed in a way like they, they're not guaranteed a spot in the world league Technically right now based off of this rumor so them trying to get out I don't blame them for it But it is also people could look at it and say oh my gosh can't believe they left Optic Nation so on and so forth Can't say I blame them in, in a way but also kind of unfortunate for everyone who's involved So uh, at the time which we'll get to Ricky Nameless and Miracles were looking for one They're also looking for an organization as well and let's move on to the next a uh, bit of roster media. I know that was a long topic, but I want to I hear your guys' thoughts in the comments about that as well. Do you guys think that's actually going to happen? And uh, what are your thoughts about that if it does end up happening as well? Next team we're going to be talking about is actually going to be an organization that I've never heard of and that probably no one's really ever heard of either before this announcement went on. So apparently there's a new organization called Apotheon and they picked up four very, very well-known players as well. They picked up Fizzerp, Lacefield, Legal, and Fears. So very, very well-known players. Not like top players. You're like, oh my gosh, those guys are the best in the game. Like not, by no means are those guys, or they, were they top players in Advanced Warfare? They were very well-known players. Fizzerp had a little bit of a struggle game. Uh, Legal did as well, moving you know from different organizations. He was on threes up for a while. Fears getting dropped from TCM. Later went over to Thrust, where they didn't have much success either. And Lacefield previously being on XG and then later went to Thrust as well. So uh, you have some really good players, some really good talent. Fizzerp, I know... People will hate on him and give him crap and whatnot, but he's still a very talented player. Um, you know, this team is definitely going to have a lot of chemistry uh, in a way. Legal and Fears have played on Prophecy. I believe they play on Rise in the past. You know, they have a lot of chemistry together. Lacefield's really good friends with Legal and Fears, and Fizzer also plays with these guys a lot of the time also. So in a way, these guys have a lot of chemistry together. Apotheon got a pretty good squad in my opinion. Uh, is it the best? No. At least based on previous titles. Is it the best team in the game? No. But it's still a very solid organization. Uh, from what I've seen, they seem to be very, very motivated, really happy, uh, you know, about the team that they've gotten. So, you know, with that, if you can have uh, just a good organization, players that want to play, you're good to go. So, Apotheon, a, a new organization, uh, I'm looking to get, like, a logo for them so I can put it on the screen. I'm not sure if I've found it yet, but if I have, you've probably already seen it. So, um, yeah, that's a new team. So, Fizzerp, Legal and Fears, and Lacefield, obviously taken off the list of free agents. And, uh, yeah, that's a new squad heading into Black Ops 3. Going to be interesting to see how the organization kind of blends uh, you know when it comes to the world league and whatnot next organization that we're going to be talking about is going to be orbit So orbit had a roster heading into worlds of TCM replays happy and Facento replays went and joined uh, You know with like a bunch of other players. I can't remember that team exactly who, who was it? I'm, I'm actually gonna look it up really quick. That's right replays tried to uh, join the squad of Spacely Proofy and John as well, so I just want to get that out of the way. We'll actually be talking about that team in just a second. Uh, but yeah, so that's the team that replays joined. Uh, I believe TCM announced free agency, and they only had two players left, which were Happy and Facento. They obviously both declared free agency, which means that they have parted ways with Orbit. Uh, off the bat, besides Happy, off the bat, everyone was like, where's Facento going? Because Epsilon was at the time looking for one. That would have been the TR squad coming to, you know, a complete end. People were super excited. And then they kind of dropped a bombshell on us, which we'll get to. So right now, Orbit was actually looking for a whole team. They actually picked a team up a couple of, like hours after they announced this. They picked up Pac-Man, Lawless, Wheat, and Accuracy. So Accuracy, who had been dropped from Orbit pre-Worlds, uh, Wheat, who was dropped from Rise. I'm not sure where Lawless and Pac-Man were at the time. So they have a full roster. Not everyone's happy about this team. I'm not like... It's hard to say. Like You don't know who's going to be good in Black Ops 3. For all we know, these guys could be great. These guys could be bad. We don't know. Black Ops 3 is going to be a completely new title when people are already calling out their placing like top 20, top 30. Does this team look good in previous titles? Not really. But Black Ops 3, we don't know if they're going to be good or not. I'm really tired of seeing people tweet out and saying, oh, that's a team that's going to suck for Black Ops 3. You don't know that for sure. Does it look like they could be? Yes, but you cannot say that they will be because we played the beta. We played a very, very rough version of the actual game that's getting ready to come out in a week. So we don't know 100%. So am I agreeing with you in a way? Yes, but I'm, in, I'm also not because we don't know for sure. 
just pointing that out there. So Orbit, new roster, I'm, I'm done talking about them now. All right, so now we're gonna get to the players who obviously left Optic Nation, which were Ricky, Miracles, and Nameless. They were looking for one player, they picked him up. Everyone kind of predicted this, including myself, whenever they announced this. They picked up the guy who left Epsilon, Mr. Parasite. They have the new player in Parasite. Uh, it seems like this, this team always seems to form in some way, not with these specific players, but it seems like, you know, the Killas, the Embos, the Rickies, Miracles, Namelesses, and Parasites, they always seem to team up in some way together, whatever organization you have you. Uh, you know, whether it's Unite, whether it's Curse LV, whatever team you want to think of, this team, there's just like a mix up of players that always seem to be on the same team in some way. Uh, so I'm really happy to see how this squad looks up. Based on previous titles, you know, this team wasn't bad. You know, Parasite, Ricky, and Miracles played on Curse LV. Yeah, I think, like, Ricky, Killa, Miracles have, uh, you know, played on Unite as well. So there's a lot of teams that have kind of played together in the past. It's just been a major mix-up of players throughout the entire, you know, entirety of these guys' career. So it's pretty interesting to see how this team is going to work out together. We don't actually know an organization for them yet. They have yet to announce it. Uh, I know I saw Barrage actually followed all of the players at the exact same time. So that could be a team. It's a, it's a well-known EU organization. So I'm not sure what their plans are, uh, you know, with having the, you know, the EU World League next year doesn't really make sense to me. But either way, they could be kind of predicting or trying to, to uh, you know, trying to implement something there as well. So right now, Ricky, Miracles, and Nameless, and Parasite, team of four, looking for an organization. A very solid squad based on previous titles, but we'll see how they do moving forward. Uh, going to be interesting to see what organization decides to pick them up. So the last really bit of roster made that we're going to be talking about has to do with Epsilon and Elevate. A very, very interesting portion that I was really excited to see. Uh, probably one of my most favorite things so far of Roster Mania thus far. Uh, so we're going to talk about it. Epsilon obviously were a team of four. They released Parasite, had three players in Aqua, Remy, and Nagafin. Obviously, you know, old players who had played together as well. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, you know, they're going to pick up Facento. They're going to become TR. Not exactly. So Epsilon actually has Aqua, Remy, and Nagafin released. They kind of part ways in a way. And uh, in my mind, as soon as I saw this, I was thinking Epsilon wants to get out of, it, get out of the NA. I think that honestly, Aqua, Remy, and Nagafin, whether they wanted to leave or not, you know, it just kind of depended on whatever thing that they wanted to do. I think it was just kind of a split second decision from Epsilon saying, you know what? We have the EU World League. We have that to kind of focus on. Let's not try to do both. We don't have to worry. Uh, you know, I don't know for sure either if you know if one organization in the EU can have um, you know two different orgs in the NA and also the EU as well. So Epsilon might not be able to have an Epsilon NA and also an Epsilon EU. Like I'm not sure if that's going to be able to cross platform either. In my mind, it probably wouldn't be able to. So that could be their way of saying, you know what? Let's get out of the NA. Let's move over to our roots and uh, you know have a squad there. So that could be what happened. I'm not really sure to be honest with you. So that left Aqua, Remy, and Nagafin free agents, along with Facento as well. You get where I'm going here? Probably. So what goes on? I hear a little bit of early intel, and I get immediately massively excited. So what happens is that Elevate actually picks up Aqua, Remy, Nagafin, and Facento. So they pick up the old TR team. I tweet out hashtag TR Reunion. For those who don't know, Team Revenge, one of my most favorite teams, and also the community's most favorite teams, who uh, you know, was a very solid squad heading into to, uh, COD Champs this year. They end up placing second at COD Champs. Definitely the most wild card, the most exciting young team to watch throughout all of Advanced Warfare, and they're back together again on Elevate. Uh, who was actually looking for a whole squad. So you don't have to worry if you're an Elevate fan, you didn't have a team in the first place. So now you have a new squad. Congratulations. Uh, so they do have the old TR squad. I'm looking to see how these guys are going to do. They seem very excited to be on the same team again with each other. And uh, it's good that Facentos finally came home because, you know, Aqua, Remy, and Nagafin obviously played at Worlds. And, uh, you know, they finally have their, their entire squad back together. So it's a family again. The TR family is back together uh, as well. Really awesome to see. And honestly, this is like one of the most favorite rosters that I have right now. Uh, as well. So it's good to see the Team Revenge guys back together again. We'll see how they do heading into Black Ops 3. Completely different title, but they got the chemistry on their side. They've played with each other in the past, and uh, we'll see how they do moving forward as well. So pretty excited to see how that team works out. So I have two more things to talk about really, really quickly, and this is speculation. This is not 100% what is going to happen. This is just what most likely will happen. So this is not at any way, like, no one's told me this information. I have found this stuff all on my own. So keep that in mind. A lot of the time, whenever I find stuff like this, it turns out to be true, but it's also happened where it's not been. So I have a couple things to tell you guys. So the other day, I saw Big Snacks, obviously, who who was in order to kind of pick up that Spacely team, uh, which I just mentioned. It was actually Spacely replays Proofy and John. Uh, according to what Big Snacks tweeted out on Twitter the other day, he said something along the lines of, you know, I'm gonna have to start over again, pick up some young players, and work forward, moving for or mo work again, moving forward. So off of that tweet. It makes it seem like Justice, who was you know had their mind on getting Space Replays, Proofy, and John into their org, isn't going to happen. Now, is it for sure? By no means, no. 
but the way that he tweeted it out made it seem like that's not going to be Justice's roster heading and moving forward. So that could be what it is. It could not be. He could be talking about something else, but it seems 100% that that's what it is. So still, we don't know what organization Spacely, Replays, Proofy, and John are going to. Uh, we have a lot of open-ended teams who are looking for organizations as well. And we have a lot of organizations looking for teams too, so you got to keep that in mind. Like Denial, I know, is looking for a squad for, and that's a very well-known organization. So we'll see what happens with that. Next thing and everything else has to do with Envy. You know, Envy is currently looking for one. You know, they have uh, what? They have Jcap, they have Aix, and they also have Slasher, and they were looking for one player. We talked about Merc already in the first, or actually the second episode. Uh, we talked about how he was kind of trying out for Envy, and I've been in a lot of Teep streams recently as well, and according to what he said in his stream chat, or not in his stream chat, but in his stream overall, uh, he says that he would love to join Envy. Obviously, alongside of Aix would be perfect for Black Ops 3, uh, but he said apparently that they want someone else. This is exactly what he said, so take it with a grain of salt if you want to. Totally Totally understand but according to what he said in the stream he said that they want someone else and that Aix wants to kind of try deep out much like they're trying Merc out so what they could be doing is kind of like a battle ba ba battle right now going on between Merc and Teep whoever plays better whether it's Merc or Teep with that squad they might try to pick them up and I don't know what Aix meant by whenever Teep said that Aix wants to try or the Aix wants someone else who could that be we have no idea who that is to be honest with you uh, including myself so that could be what's going on right now Envy looking for one player they're trying out Merc they're trying out Teep whoever is the best out of those two could possibly be joining Envy the other one could join you know th that old uh, you know what, what's that team that's looking for one right now like they could join that phase black squad that wants to happen we don't know what's going to go down just yet but that has finally done it for all the roster media. I wanted to let you guys know that little bit of, in not really intel, but stuff that I've noticed that no one really knows about. Uh, so there you guys go. Finally, ending out this episode. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and let me know down your thoughts in the comments about Envy, whether it's about Optic Nation, you know, will they be able to have a team next year if they want to compete in the World League? Let me know down your thoughts in the comments below. What teams do you think could go where? The free agents, which I'm not really going to show you guys the free agent list as of yet, because there are a lot of players who are kind of up in the air that I don't want to show you guys a list that's not confirmed so maybe in the next episode i'll show you guys the free agent list because this is not this is by no means done and uh yeah so guys thank you so much for watching this video i think i've said that twice already but i don't care i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic day i'll see y'all later peace out